Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you a technique for your clip-in extensions. We're going to be doing no leave out method with clip-in extensions today. As you can see, there is absolutely no leave out. And this hair is so gorgeous and so pretty and it's 100% human hair, guys. The hair is so, so soft and it's like an afro kinky texture. And yeah, so we're going to be doing this from start to finish. So keep on watching. So we're going to be using extensions from Her Given Hair and this is one full bundle of their um, kinky coily hair. The type of this hair is type 3C to 4A. I like that they actually specify the hair types for people. So if you don't know your hair type, uh, this is a great way for you to kind of get familiar with your hair type. So this is like an afro coily texture and um, it's very kinky and is 100% human hair and the color is natural color 1B and this is 20 inches okay they give you extra clips and they claim that this one full bundle is enough for a full head so we're going to find out <laughs> um, but the clips are already kind of like separated for you so it comes in like different sets of like five clips and four and three and two you know in that order so that way you can kind of like measure your head and know which clips to put at each point so this is my model's hair and her natural hair type is from 4b to 4a and the extensions we're using is 3c to 4a so her hair is close to the texture of the extensions and I'm just moisturizing her hair now with some Shea Miracle and some of my spray oil. Um, so while I was doing her hair, I wanted to initially, I wanted to do a minimal leave out, which you see me doing right now. So I was basically taking a small portion of her hair out um, in the front for a middle part and also around her edges, all the way around her perimeter. But then halfway through we decided to switch things up <laughs> she was nervous about having the leave out and um i was like girl don't worry i got you <laughs> but yeah um we ended up you know switching things up but uh i just wanted to invite you guys into the process of getting to that decision of doing the illusion method <laughs> because sometimes you plan to do a style and then while you're doing the style you just change your mind so that's what happened here so um after doing the minimal leave out i just started to braid her hair in you know regular cornrows going back and um when we get halfway then i am going to switch things up so keep on watching Okay, this was when we said, you know what, we don't want minimal leave out anymore. We are now going to just braid this minimal leave out into regular cornrow. <laughs> um, because she didn't want to always have to try to like, you know, blend the leave out, you know, with gel and things like that. So yeah, so I'm just putting some shining jam and I'm going to braid this leave out and connect it into the cornrows in the back.
all right so now I'm about to put the clippings in and this is the most easiest part you just pop the clips open and you just clip it into the braid very very easy um, I'm clipping it into the second braid because I, I planned to do the illusion all around her head which didn't happen <laughs> Listen, there was a lot of changes with this, okay? Uh, it, it was a lot of changes, but you, 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 you see what I mean, okay? So I'm just clipping in the hair, and um, honestly, like this is a quick. I don't even think it took me like 15 minutes, maybe like 10 or 12 minutes to just clip this hair in. It was so easy and so quick. Um, and right now the hair looks like okay. It's it doesn't look like it's full. But this hair is very tricky. You're going to see how it's going to just get voluminous um, at the end of this video when I start brushing it, okay? So don't let the way it look right now fool you, okay? Um, they really did say that this will be enough for a full head. And I see why they say that. You will see at the end of this video. So I'm just measuring the tracks as I need it. Um, you can also cut the tracks if you need to. Just to like place the tracks as you need to place it. Alright, so at this point, I saved one track of the clipping because I'm going to use that for the illusion. And I, um, we still have that one braid in the back, but um, when I was done with everything, I ended up placing the first clipping in that very first braid in the back. So this is the track that was left, okay? And now I'm going to cut off the clips, the clip area, and we're just going to do the illusion with just the hair itself. So we're going to use one piece of the hair, basically the smallest piece possible um, just for the illusion to look natural. Uh, you, you want to just take your crochet needle and just pass one piece of the hair through the braid. And then you're going to take one piece of that and make a loop twice like that, okay? So you want to make a loop with the piece in the back, okay, which is like... The way I kind, I kind of extended the hair so that the piece that is coming out and creating the illusion in the front is the longer piece. And then the small piece in the back is what I used to make the knot. So again, this is what I did. Okay, now grab the small piece, which is the shorter piece, and just pass it through the loop twice until you make a knot. And the longer piece just, you know, looks like it's coming through her hair and is coming through her scalp and creating the illusion. So at this point, I was basically almost done using all that one track that was left. So I didn't do this illusion throughout her perimeter. I stopped behind her ear and I went back to take, up, take out the last clipping and put it in the first braid that I talked about. Um, so I kind of find, found myself trying to like manage the hair and make sure the hair actually gives me the results that I want so I, I found myself 
um, cutting off some of the hair from the back you know to create this illusion on the other side of her head <laughs> so um, in my mind at first I was like damn this hair is not enough this hair didn't, didn't you know I would have needed maybe like a half bundle to complete this look but by the time I was done doing all of this and started to brush the hair then I really started to see the volume of this hair and I was like okay <laughs> um, so right now we're done with the illusion and now I'm just like teasing it with my brush to make it look more natural and I'm going to show you how voluminous this hair can get. So right now I am going to spray some water and also add some products. Because this hair is kinky so it's going to need water just like a 4C hair type would need water okay and I'm adding my sh um, my shea butter um, kids shea butter into the hair and I'll also add some of my Cantu silk serum and then we are going to brush it and then you're going to see the truth of this hair and how big it will get <laughs> Are you noticing how this hair is getting bigger? This hair is showing its true colors now. It is getting fuller and bigger. <laughs> but um, I love this hair by Hair Giving Hair. Um, yeah, the hair actually is enough for a full head. As you can see, the more you brush it, the more it's gonna get bigger, and it's like you're loosening up the kinks. So it's going. You're gonna see the afro ness of this hair, and it's just going to get fuller and bigger. Um, so yeah, it was it, it is actually enough. So you don't have to place the tracks close to each other. You could give space and brush it, and it's just going to cover. So that's the trick of this hair. But um, I absolutely love it. So um, don't worry, one bundle will be enough for you. If you want to feel safer, I would say maybe get two. Um, you probably won't use all of the two. Maybe like two and a half. But um, this one bundle is a good volume and a good size of hair on her head so yeah so i absolutely love it make sure you check out her giving hair i'll leave the link to this hair in the description and i'm going to show you how you could style it in a half of half down and also like in a low ponytail so keep on watching Thank you so much guys for watching this video don't forget to check out my model y2k-a-l-l-l-y <laughs> her name is yelly and she's so amazing thank you for watching make sure you like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time <laughs>